Hi, it is the Pikachu time again. So today we want to use the S models, the, 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 the map, to show how the uh, Buddha Dharma cultivations uh, proceed. And uh, from this, we will be able to see how is uh, from a, 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 an ordinary state like us to get into the Samadhi. And also how the Qigong or Taoist practice or chakra can map into this uh, Buddhist or Buddha Dharma practice. Okay, this is very important because uh, we want to uh, have the, 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 the technology which is uh, working in real life. Okay, so let's start to uh, look into this or zoom, zoom in and look into what is going on. And also, if you guys uh, doesn't uh, have the S models and don't understand what it is, Please watch my uh, previous video on the explanations, okay? So, uh, last time, I presenting the three critical key. Let me take down this first. The three critical key for meditations, for meditations, uh, Qigong, and internal art practice, the three critical keys, namely the body, the physical body uh, has to be loose, unwrapped, the mind has to be quiet down or using the awareness, and then the breathing has to be in the natural uh, lower abs breathing where the diaphragm is loosely be able to move up and down. So that's the three keys. Okay, watch uh, my other video if you want to see the details. Now, this is what happened. So, as in the S model, as in the S model, so uh, this is the intelligent world, intelligent world, and then this is the natural world, now, the three keys is actually moving into the natural world from the intelligent world, okay? Now, I like to say this here, is that uh, we usually only live within this intelligent worlds, okay? As in the S model here, the intelligent worlds, we, only, we usually only live here and we have no idea or have not much handling on this natural world, okay? So, if one be able to get into the natural world, one will be able to, uh, to get back to the uh, intelligent world so they can make use of the back, uh, both world, okay? This is the, 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 the human world. Now, if one not be able to get in here or not be able to uh, really consistently get in here, then one mostly is living in the intelligent worlds, okay? So this is the basic idea. Uh, we know that when we go in, we can come up so that uh, we really know, uh, we know and uh, experience in living in both worlds, okay? But usually ordinary people, if uh, not get into here, then uh, it just uh, basically is uh, only living in this area. Now, so the three keys, the three keys is helping us to move in here as in the, uh, as in the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the S model is moving into here, into this place, okay? So, if I you know, put this part of the S model, this part of the S model, then uh, this is the part, okay? So the three keys, the three keys is moving in here, okay? The three critical key. 
okay? Now, the next state, the next state after the three critical keys is the state where the mind and breathing synchronize each other, okay? Which is, say, at this state, okay? So here with the three keys, you, you reach here, and then for the mind and breathing synchronize, you get into, you know, you move on, you move further into this location. Now, so the next state, if it is a Buddhist uh, 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 practice or Bodhidharma practice, when we talk about Samadhi, the Samadhi state, okay? And over here, that is a state called Chitta Eka Gata. So this is the state of Chitta Eka Gata, okay? Chitta Eka Gata is here. So one need to get from the three critical key state, be able to handle that, get into the mind and breathing synchronized state, and then get into the Chitta Ekagata state, and then proceed into the Samadhi. So the Chitta Ekagata state, the beginning is like this. So you proceed this into Samadhi. Okay, so hopefully that this is clear for you. Because if we don't know this, we have no way to handling, to handle how to get into samadhi uh, 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 with quality or repeatable, and and uh, or very stable to be able to get in, and thus one not be able to practice, uh, uh, have a solid practice. Because if one does doesn't know these states, how the body and mind breathing need to be handle and then what how to get into this no way one can get into samadhi we can keep in talking or or uh, 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 speculating uh, samadhi and all this kind of stuff in the uh, intelligent world but we have no idea what it is okay it, it just like a, it just like a, 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 we can uh, you know before we have our first date and uh, have a uh, uh, falling in love with somebody. We can uh, just uh, uh, read in the uh, uh, fictions or watch in the movie how is uh, falling in love like, but we really know, don't know what is the the, the, the exactly uh, experience or the states of the falling in love. Okay. So that is the case, okay? So one need this three critical key, the mind and uh, bar, uh, breathing synchronized, and then get into the Ita, Jita, Eka, Gata, and then uh, go to Samadhi, okay? Anybody, as soon as you're human, that is the path, okay? So that's why the three critical key is really critical. Now, this mind and this mind and uh, and uh, breathing synchronized state, okay. This is the state. This is the state uh, in the in the uh, in the uh, Taoist is called the spirit and uh, breathing union state, okay, which is called Sun Yi. Qi he. Okay. Sen yi qi he meaning that spirit and the breathing union. Okay. So that is the state of the mind and uh, the, 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 the breathing synchronized. Or it's also called the uh, sing, si, xiang, yi. So the, the, the mind and the breathing synchronized. Okay. So in Qigong, you usually talk about the Xing Si Xiang Yi. In Taoist, if you read it, it, it will say the Shen Yi Qi He. Okay, in the Qi, Taoist Qigong and so forth. So that is actually the state 
of the mind and breathing synchronized and that is the state on top of the three critical keys okay now if that sing this uh, sing si xiang yi is not achieved okay if it's not achieved if it's not achieved here then the transformations of the body or the healing the process of the healing of the body or the qigong uh, energy development will not take place that is for sure already it has to get here okay so let me clear this up for you to show you So this is intelligent world, this is natural world, and this is going like that, because this is an S model, okay? Now, so with the three critical key, one get into here, this location. And then it proceed further to the breathing and the, uh, the, uh, the, the mind is uh, synchronized. So only after this, the transformations of the body mind energy start to take place here okay so without that three critical key practice can handle it solidly or get trained with it one is not going to be able to fully get into the state and uh, without this uh, the, 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 the breathing and the mind synchronize what the process of healing the qigong and, and so forth is not take place yet what happened over here from here to here is resting is resting it's a resting state like a deep sleep state and after the the the, the, the breathing and the uh, mind synchronize that get into even deeper uh, 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 resting state or it get to the state there uh, where the, uh, the the body transformation can begin okay so of course you know the more you go here the more uh, the, the deeper the rest okay the rest is deeper so the more the more you move toward here the re the, the deeper the rest and usually even if one have done the uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the the three critical case one can handle it one already get into a deep rest state okay deep rest with the three critical key one can handle that one already get the deep rest okay so in other words that when you get into the uh, the, 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 the uh, breathing and mind synchronize where you can start the transformations of the body that is already a deep rest state okay so so that's why you can check with the brain wave and so forth and so forth because uh that's a state but this is how it go through okay with uh with, with the thing okay now so how is this related to chakra system how is this related to the chakra system how is what we just talking about with the s model relate to the chakra system okay this is how it is Now again, your S model is here, and then this is growing, okay, it's growing, so this is the energy, the energy and calmness, this is growing, this is the intelligent world, this is the natural world, this is getting to here, okay? And uh, here is the five scandal state, and then uh, here okay here is uh, your, uh, your your advanced states here okay now which is I, I replicate here okay now you know what happened this is how related to the chakra system so over here 
we still is within the lower three chakra this red uh, the, uh, the, 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 the right state and so forth okay because uh, here we enter the sama uh, the start to enter into the samadhi and so forth so this is the the, the, the the lowest chakra so this is the crown chakra this is a crown chakra this is the third eye chakra okay this is a fourth chakra the throat chakra okay and this is a heart chakra so one two three four five six seven this is a seven this is the the, the root okay now over here the energy the energy remember that we talk about the energy is uh, in, uh, uh, is uh, strengthen uh, and, and grow now over here we are still in the the root chakra and the lower three chakra which is what survival uh, desire and uh, want to control things okay want to uh, just uh, just uh, dominate things this lower three chakra so the energy here is belong to this three chakra okay when one cultivate does they belong to this chakra okay now only when one get into this area okay which is deep into the uh, the, the samadhi area okay then one's energy raised to the heart chakra the heart chakra only at that heart chakra one be able to experience and really practice compassionate only when one live here one have this energy one develop it one live here one can go back to the intelligent world like ordinary day normal day one can practice compassionate because now the the body has transformed the energy has been transformed and uh, the energy get up to activate the, the heart chakra and so forth now only after one get here where the throat chakra is open up because the energy is naturally again it is naturally uh, grow the energy strengthen the energy to the throat chakra so the throat chakra open up only here one be able to do mindful so when we talk about mindfulness in reality in a real buddhist uh, bodhidharma practice one need to get to the opening of the heart chakra uh, the, the, the throat chakra in order to be able to do mindfulness if you're thinking about mindfulness here mindfulness here forget about it why how many seconds can you be mindful and if you know because we live in this uh, this lower three chakra you know, desire uh, survivor and a dominant type of a, 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 a lifestyle and that's how we live so so that is where our energy is uh, in the in terms of the level the lower three chakra so there's no way one will say well you can get mindfulness you go doing vipassana for two days you know you're living here now the guy who really want to go up here guess what they ha have to handle the first thing the first thing over here development is diet what you eat and the time you eat and the amount you eat because that is the handling of the lower three chakra how to how to how to uh, how to uh, handle it so that the energy can 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 go up so you open up your, your upper chakra so diet and sex activity because sex is reproductions okay and diet is survival so so one handle that in order to get on top okay now only after one get to the third eyes above that the energy have uh, have grow above the third eyes one be able to experience and know what the heck is no self no mind and keeping proceed you know like the crown chakra and so forth 
only there one be able to know the bodhicitta, to experience the bodhicitta. This is reality. It's not you practice some kinds of manipulation to get there. No, it is a, a completely transforms of the lifestyle and the way of living in order to get here. Okay? So one cannot say that well, I love sex and violence and all this kind of stuff, you know, uh, I just want to uh, practice a uh, bodhidharma, mindfulness, and I become no me, no self. That's called bullshit, okay? This is reality. If you look at the uh, uh, monks, uh, the patriarch of Zen and so forth, you can see this, okay? You read the Chinese uh, biography of the Zen master and so forth. This is a real thing. And also this is applied to, it doesn't matter what type of Buddhism it is. The energy is energy, okay? Your lifestyle, your body transformations is there, okay? So this is how it linked to the chakra systems, okay? So unless we get into the energy is, uh, is high up, developed enough to the uh, compassionate, uh, the, the, the heart chakra and open up the heart chakra, I mean, come forget about all this compassionate. Why? We can keep in talking about all this compassionate, living, loving others, but as soon as it gets to the time of it is better, you get screwed than me, then you practice that. Okay? Because you, you know, we are living here. It is uh, it, it, when 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 you get to how much money, how many uh, zero uh, behind the uh, the one in the check, you keep adding on. You are not going to be compassionate. Okay. Because you are living here, you want survival. You want to pile up, storage all the money so that you can live better, survive better, and then you can live better and you can control people or control the world or whatever that if you live in here you're not gonna get there and then uh you know like when you heard about zen zen grandmaster or whatever talk about this enlightenment and uh, or, or different you know all these nice ideas well if you really enlightenment why do you need to have all those students to follow you around why do you, you do you know, all this like control and all this kind of stuff? You, you look around. No? We're we always doing this kind of thing. Uh, this is not, not mean that to, to, to say certain people. You look around okay, and uh, you see what we're doing. So as soon as we live within the lower three chakra type of uh, uh, the energy level, forget about this compassionate. Uh, 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 mindful and then uh, uh, the, 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 the no mind, no thought, and, uh, no me, no self, uh, bodhicitta. Well, guess what? We all are living in the intelligence world, try to using the concept of mindfulness here, thinking that if we do some meditations or some retreat, uh, we will get whatever the power, the magic of the meditations to help us doing what here? To help us doing control, survival. Well, you know, that tell you already. We are just trying, thinking that if we can have the magic of this, try to help us to, 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 to satisfy, to support our lower three chakras. The, the survival, the control, the manipulations. So how is that uh, uh, no cell, no me? So if you if if you see this, you can see you know where you want to go. Now if you want to uh, uh, help your health, of course you know you can go to this uh, the three critical keys and then the the breathing and the mind synchronize and there's nothing wrong with that. Now you this world is the world of uh, survival manipulations. For most okay sex and violence look at the in the movie look at in the in the medias you can see what it is you know, all fighting war and all this you mind stuff and all all kind of stuff so you know don't expect us to be here and it's okay to be uh, imperfect here okay so if you want to heal your body and uh, 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 
getting better in their health. Okay, so we know what to do, but just you know, don't use the by the name of mindfulness, by the name of bodhicitta or compassionate to support whatever the lower three chakra type of lifestyle. Okay, now with that, we need to be watch out here on the uh, the 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 the, uh, the bodhisattva path or the bodhisattva way of uh, the, the practice of the uh, Bodha Dharma. Okay, so this is what happened. Now this is intelligent world. This is a natural world. Okay? So we know that uh, a, a, a Buddha Dharma practice is uh, you got from here, you go as far as possible, and you can always come back because uh, the, now the two worlds, the intelligent world and the natural world become one. As for the people who only know this intelligent world, have no, the, doesn't know the natural world, they have no, not much idea what happened here. And by the guy, you know, you can, you can go here. Now, When you understand the impermanence, this entire thing is based on impermanence or change, continuous change. Okay? So as a human, in the natural world, as a human, in, in this natural world, like it or not, we're going through the birth, aging, uh, sick, or, okay, sick, or get disease, and, and that, okay, we like it or not, this is the natural world, okay, and it's impermanent. We can go down, meditate, vipassana for 10 zillion years. Well, why do you want to spend time to, 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 uh, to uh, just uh, understand uh, uh, impermanence, okay, you just look around and you see, okay, there's impermanence there. Now, this birth aging sick and uh, death is like what like our four seasons spring summer autumn and winter can anybody change that if we try to change that man that means we have we are stuck with our ego we try to change something or we like to say oh you know i want i just want to keep uh, spring i don't want uh, winter i want to keep spring only what that is what that is suffering because you're against what it is, right? Now, so the Bodhisattva, the Bodhisattva understand that. So when the Bodhisattva or the, the Buddhists who practice the path of the Bodhisattva, when they see the impermanence, not just have to, you, you don't have to go into your deep meditations, get enlightenment, no, you should look, look around, you know, hey, my dad, my, my grandpa already passed away. I grew old. There is impermanent. You don't need somebody to do, look at that, okay? So the Bodhisattva wants, they, 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 they watch around and they say, hey, you know, everything changed, okay? We, you know, even rainy day or not rainy days, we human have no, no, no handling. So at that, at that state, the Bodhisattva path is Disregard of any stake here. Disregard of any stake here. The goal is to help oneself to aware of that state and help others to aware of that state. That is non uh, non attached. Okay, you you just dis de uh, detached to. Say, you know, I just only want spring. I don't want summer. Okay, there's an attachment. However, you say that, you know, this is spring. Spring is good. I, I remember that this is a spring time or it's still cold. You know, I need to wear more clothes. And then you, you, you tell other friends, you say, you know, this is spring time, you know. Uh, observe around. You know, whatever not feed, feeding you in the spring seasons, don't do it. 
Okay, so that that's how the uh, the the body sattva path is, it uh, aware of oneself and uh, uh, help other to aware of other selves because we can only do that. Why? Spring come, spring goes. Summer come, summer goes. And then. Winter come, winter goes. We go through uh, birth, aging, sick, and death. Now, if we don't attach to it at every single point, we're helping ourselves, we're helping others, then that is reparations. You rebreak from the, uh, the, 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 the states. You rebreak from the four seasons. You don't say, hey, you know, I always get depressed in the, uh, in the uh, fall because I don't like uh, uh, fall. I like spring. Oh, fall is pretty bad. That, that means attachment. Okay. So in order to rebreak in the body sattva path is accept this. This is impermanent. Whatever, get, whatever I get is whatever I get. However, in this state, I can help myself. I can help others to understand this, uh, the, the situations and to improve it. So it doesn't matter, it changes, we always improve it. And uh, you always have a peace of mind and that's reparations. Okay? So, so, so the Bodhisattva or the, 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 the practitioner of the body, uh, Buddha Dharma actually going through this okay uh, while going through that the energy is growing uh, like uh, it raised from chakra to chakra the samadhi get deeper the uh, calmness you know you get more calm here and you get more insight thus you can be able to do more corrections okay and uh, more improvement you keep in going but you're not attached to anything and with one uh, single mind of helping yourself, helping others. Okay? So that's why the Bodhisattva had the vow. The vow said, I will help, say for example, the vow of uh, Avarokiteswara of Guan Yin will say that, you know, uh, as soon as I heard from people who suffer, I will go to help him or her. So, you know, if I'm here, you know, if the, the, the Bodhisattva is here, then he can do this much. And then uh, if he's here, he can do this much. And then, you know, just continue to go up without attachment, uh, just living like that every day in the peaceful, in the, in the, uh, in the rebirth way. And of course, if, if say for example, one is in this state, okay, not this state here, of course they were going to meet they're going uh, to, to, to see their own uh, habit or autopilot. Say, for example, in the meeting, okay, in the meeting, in the corporate, if some asshole is uh, playing political game, you say, shit, this guy is trying to control me again. Okay? So, at this state. Now, if I live in the lower three chakra, I don't have energy. I say, okay, let's let's get a war. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get back to you. Da 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 da. You know, you win this time. Next time, I'm going to blow you with a with with a laser bomb. Okay, that's it. But if you cultivate the uh, the 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 vipassan, uh, the samatha and vipassana, get the calmness and the insight, get the wisdom, then you look at that. You say. You look at it, you investigate how your autopilot come, I'm going to blow you with a laser bomb. You say, you know what? All oh, this is impermanent. I'm wasting my time. Give that guy some compassionate and move on. Because that, that person, the, the behavior, what he do is only him. For me, whatever he can do is impermanent. Things change. So one move up one step, one, and then after that, one no longer, when people do that to oneself because there's no autopilot, I'm right away I want to blow you with a laser bomb, that habit is gone, that autopilot is gone, one move one step up. 
and one continues to to uh to to, to meet all kinds of issue because it's, it's in us it's not in them it's in us if we want to re-break it's our problem so one uh, actually uh, let go the habit of autopilot one by one when one travel here so the body sattva path is make the corrections or dropping or detach us from our own uh, autopilot or habits while traveling while facing this uh, four seasons which is impermanent and also as soon as we see others having the, uh, the, the, the struggle and so forth, uh, we can help others. Okay, so that's the body sattva path. In the same time, they improve themselves. In the same time, uh, they can help others. And also, uh, you know, the body, of course, is changing because of the, 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 the men mentality change, the, 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 the lifestyle change, keeping changing, evolving, then everything change. Okay, so it is change within change. Okay, so sure, everything is impermanent. So it's like the, the, the guy who surf on top of the, uh, the, 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 the ocean wave. Okay, uh, it's not sitting down there and uh, trying to see the, the, the impermanent of the ocean wave. You say, well, I know this ocean wave is impermanent. Even my body is impermanent. Even my, my, my ego is impermanent. Even my identity is impermanent. If I die, it's gone. So, you know, I already understand that. I don't have to go through that again and again. So I want now to improve myself and then to help others. Keeping going, 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 going. That, that's how the, the, the body sattva path is. Now, as uh, you who heard about the teaching of the Shaolin martial art, the Shaolin, the Shaolin, like the, in the China, the Shaolin Temple, the Shaolin martial arts, or, or you watch the movie, and uh, the, the, the TV series, Kung Fu, uh, Shaolin Monk, Kui Cheng Crane. Well, the teaching of Shaolin is exactly that. To, uh, to, uh, to, 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 uh, to uh, aware of ourselves, to rebreak ourselves, and to help others to aware of themselves and rebreak themselves. That is the, 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 the ultimate of the Shaolin martial art training or teaching. Okay, so it is. This is how it fit into the the the, the, the Buddhism. The, the, the teaching how the the, the, the the system feeding into it okay so so I hope that you uh, you you see this this is how how things works okay now I, I, I want to show you one example in in the, in the you know because the, the the Buddhist monk has to walk their talk okay so again this is this is growing the S model, the intelligent world, natural world. So, uh, in 2017, 2017, two years ago, there's a monk, the Chinese monk, uh, by the name of Meng Chan. Say that sometimes I cannot read write back and forth uh, 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 because when English and Chinese I cannot write back and forth and I get I create a mess the Mong Chan so Mong is dreaming Chan is uh, investigating Mong Chan okay is a, a very respectful monk he passed away at the uh, 2017 at the age of 103 if uh, if i if it's accurate uh, so 103 now 1995 he was diagnosed cancer and uh, at that time this buddhist man is uh, decide that well why don't I just uh, recite the uh, the practice the Ama, uh, Amitabha recitations and I just gone because uh, he's 80, 80 years old or so 
Now is my time. I'm gone. Now, however, the, because the condition changed, he operate. Uh, he he get into the surgery nineteen ninety six. And then the doctor tell her him that uh, he only have five years statistically five years to live. Okay, and he lived until twenty years later, not five years, twenty years later. Okay. So he passed away at the uh, two thousand seventeen, and when he was young, he was put into the jail by the communists. Because he studied Chinese Buddhism, he studied the Tibetan Buddhism, he get put into the concentration camp, try to, uh, uh, to to change him, brainwash and so forth. Okay, but he didn't, and then uh, he keep his, uh, his his practice. He come to America, uh, in the nineteen uh, eighties, late nineteen eighties, and uh, so uh, all this thing now. I met him, okay. I met him and uh, uh, asking about uh, him to explain one of his teaching when he's in here in San Francisco. So he was six having the cancer, okay. So obviously he's traveling this path, okay. Now, so later on, like a uh, nineteen, uh, sorry, uh, two thousand. 15, something like 2000, 2013 or 15, something like that. He was uh, lecturing. He said that, you know, Buddhists no need to fear on the, the sickness, okay? Like himself, because he's experienced. He said sickness is just a signal for us to, uh, to look into ourselves to change. Okay, and you use the body dharma practice to change your mind, your body, your autopilot, and then you change, you try the best to change it. So that is how Buddhists look into a, a, a sickness, okay, like him, right? As he said that, you know, see, he is uh, giving, uh, what, uh, five years to live, but now it's the 13 years, you know, how long, I don't know, you know, but he's keeping uh, lecturing, helping people. So 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 Mong San, uh, the the man actually he is with the, the older generation like uh, Mr. Nan Huai Jing, okay, and uh, those old generations who have who have passed away, and so all this is the reality for people who, <coughs> who walk their talk, okay, and live in the real life. Which is, you know, so that's why I share with you, this is what it is, okay? And, uh, of course, if we are here, you know, like, uh, we are not even start with the, the, the breathing and the mind uh, is one, of course we're going to have fear. That's our autopilot. That's the lower three chakra because the survival, the control come up, okay? And that, that's why one needed to cultivate the calmness and so that one have the awareness, be able to see that, oh, this is a delusion. We need to let go of this uh, autopilot because everything is impermanent. <clears throat> so you proceed and that is the revelations. Okay. So it is a, 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 it's not a philosophy. It is not a, a uh, a tricks. It's not a fat and you know, a popular things. Okay. Uh, it is real life, and uh, so it is not like oh we are in this intelligent world. You know what you want to track this qigong, so then you can strengthen your body. You can you want to practice mindfulness so that you can have this uh, mindful everything and solve everything. And however, all this thing continue on. All the uh, lower three chakras living on, on sex, violence, uh, 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 desire, control, manipulation, all going on. And you say, well, I want to have this mindfulness dharma uh, or this qigong uh, to, 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 uh, 
to uh, let me do more of this sex and violence. It's not like that, okay? So I often tell people, you know, Gautama Buddha, after he get enlightenment and he, <coughs> he know all of this thing, he traveled to here, he didn't go back and say, you know what? Since now I have this magic power, then I can uh, go back to uh, be a prince again. And so I'm going to marry the uh, 200 wives, the, the pretty one, the sexy one, the hot one. So I want to expand my, uh, my, my country to even maybe uh, invade, invade the big part of the world. He didn't say that, right? Because he already is no longer that prince. After we go through here, he know all oh, this is impermanence. And uh, if you try to grasp on the impermanence, or try to, 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 uh, to hold on something, then that is dukkha, suffering. So, I hope that what I share with you today uh, help. And also, as all, I always say, don't trust me, go read the Yoga Charabhumi, Surangama, and check into all the records and see what I'm sharing here. Is it so or not? Okay. Uh, we in the West have an issue that uh, we do not, uh, 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 we do not uh, expose to what as in the is like uh, exposed to this Mong Chan Mang, exposed to uh, Nan Huai Jing. A lot of people in the past generation, we don't expose to it and we don't know Chinese, we don't read Chinese. <coughs> so <coughs> there's no way we see a big picture. <coughs> so sure we can read some Zen book or somebody translate something. But what is the reality? How is that supposed to work in the real life? That is a, a, a problem there. In other words, how to enter the door into the development? Because we know. Maybe today I die and I'm gone. It is impermanent. Disregard of either, either I can tell you the philosophy of uh, impermanent and so forth. It doesn't matter. I die, I die. The thing only exists is where am I here? As Obi-Wan told Darth Vader, if I'm not wrong, I watched that uh, decades ago. If you take away my physical body, I'm 10 times stronger if I'm here. So if I'm here, there's a lot of things I can handle because it is a different world. But if I am not, I'm not uh, 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 developing this, I am living in my lower three chakras. Today I'm sick, it's not fair. Tomorrow I get bullied, it's not fair. I'm going to prepare my uh, uh, laser bomb, okay? Or, you know, you beat me, I, 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 I hate it. So I'm going to prepare for my secret techniques in Wing Chun to revenge. Well, you always live in the lower three chakra that have no way to liberate. And in fact, Wing Chun is from Shaolin. Shaolin is teaching aware of yourself, liberate yourself, help others to aware of themselves so they can liberate themselves too. So this is for you today.